When we were asked back in elementary school what we thought the year 2020 would look like, a lot of us described flying cars, space travel, robots in every home. Basically, we were aiming for life as the Jetsons. It's unlikely that anybody was anticipating this, a global pandemic that resulted in school closures across the nation. So we are taking additional actions to keep Virginians safe. Today, I am directing all schools in Virginia to remain closed at least through the end of this academic year. When school first closed down in March for a couple of weeks, it was kind of uncertain as to what might happen with Eyewitness History Day, so we held out some hope. Um, then, around the time of spring break, Governor Northam announced that schools would be closed for the rest of the year and we knew what that meant. In fact, my very first thought upon hearing the news was no eyewitness to History Day. Yes, in its foundation, Eyewitness to History Day is a day celebrating learning history. But even more to us here at Rocky Run, this is a day of connections. Creating connections between students and guests, creating connections between teachers and guests, guests and guests, and those connections, that's what I'm gonna miss most this year. What I'll miss most this year about Eyewitness to History Day is the chance to see the students, the faculty, as well as our guests all interact together. I'll really miss seeing the students so well-dressed and excited running around the school so that they can meet up with all of our guests and learn as much as they can from all of you. What I will miss most about Eyewitness to History Day this year, the opening ceremony where our guests come into the gym while this beautiful music is playing. The room is filled with cheers and clapping and we get to honor, truly honor those people who work so hard to keep us safe. And there is something truly magical that seems to happen when our students get to talk with you and learn about the historical events that you were part of. I just miss the excitement, the planning, all the hard work that we put in because we love this day so much. But who I'll miss the most? Colonel Cohn. This is me and Colonel Cohn. I'm gonna miss you and I hope to see you next year. What I'm going to miss is you. Just every one of you. You're all very special, um, near and dear to our hearts. I used to share your stories and uh, we're just very grateful for you. It's one thing to learn about an event in class, but it is such a more meaningful way to learn when you have someone who has been there firsthand tell you about their experiences. One lesson that I learned from Eyewitness to History Day last year is that it's super important to learn from the past because then you can take those lessons and apply it to your future to help make it brighter and better. Mr. Dennis Gresto, a lieutenant from the Vietnam War, taught me that no matter what hardships you might be going through, there's always someone in the world who is worse off, and we should be grateful for what we have as it is something that they might not have. Every guest at Eyewitness to History Day has gone through some difficulty in life, and some have even put themselves in danger to keep us safe, and I'm very grateful for it all. Yeah, I think that uh, when I first was approached to come here, I wasn't really sure what it was, it sounded kind of cool. Uh, and naturally it's kind of my nature to sort of be like, well, I, I don't know what I would tell them. Uh, Mr. Harbaugh told us that we should be appreciative of the fact that we were born here. I took this to heart and I realized we should be more grateful for the fact that we are born in this country and we have the chances and opportunities that are available to us because we are born here. One thing I learned from Eyewitness History Day last year was that the ability to understand, hear, and empathize with other people's stories is a skill that does not know the boundaries of age and time. You don't need to be an adult to be able to make a change. Just by knowing your community and knowing how to help it, you don't just need to stand by. I really found the whole experience really cool and enlightening. It just felt very, it made everything feel a lot more real.
This is Amy Goodlow, the proud principal here at Rocky Run. It's my pleasure to say hello to you and just share my wishes that we were all together in person to celebrate the phenomenal event that is Eyewitness to History Day. We are so grateful for your participation and we truly miss greeting and recognizing each and every one of you at school and also reflecting on the events and the contributions that you have shared with our community and with our society and with our great nation. If I could say one thing to the eyewitness guests right now, it would be thank you. All your efforts to come and talk to the students and staff at Rocky Run really make a lasting impact. I know we all look forward to the time of year when Eyewitness to History Day comes because hearing your stories opens a whole new perspective for us and allows us to learn in a different, more engaging way. We appreciate all the dedication you've shown to our country and we hope you are all doing well. If I could say one thing to our eyewitnesses right now, it would be thank you. Thank you for taking the time to show our students what our history is about. It takes a lot of courage to retell stories that they experienced. We students have never undergone anything as life-changing as a war or witnessed a major event that took the lives of so many, but they have and they found it deep within themselves to share their stories so students like us can continue to share them to the younger generations. Thank you for sharing your story. We are so sorry that you are not able to be here with us this year. We all look forward to this day so much and hearing your firsthand accounts of so many historical events. We wish we could be with you. We look forward to hopefully seeing you next year. If I could tell our eyewitnesses one thing, I would say that I'm really grateful for all that they've done to be able to share their stories with us. And I'm thinking of them during these extraordinary times. So thank you so much. Hi friends. I'm gonna miss seeing you so much this year. My name is Laurie Simmons, and I have enjoyed meeting all of you over the last years. Dr. Bucure, I'm gonna miss you most of all. My son was one of your guides in seventh grade, and now he just graduated from UVA. I just want you specifically and all of you to know that your stories are living on in not only our students, but our family members who have come to love you. I would like to say thank you for sharing your stories and bringing history to life for our students. We've been doing this for upwards of 20 years. And during those 20 years, um, we've made lots and lots of friends. Probably over 500 of them have come through our doors since it first started. We love you and we thank you for everything that you've done for our country and sharing your stories. I'm very sad, like everyone else, that we cannot be in school this year together, but we will reconnect next year at Rocky Run Middle School, and it'll be a wonderful day. God bless, and stay safe. And if I could say one thing to the eyewitnesses, I would say thank you for helping save history. Thank you for sharing your stories, and thank you for loving America and our freedoms, and protecting our freedoms in some cases. So I salute you. God bless you. Each of you has grown to be a part of our Rocky Run community through and through. And we want you to know that across the board, students to teachers, we're all thinking of you. We miss seeing your faces this year. So from all of us, stay safe, be well, and we hope to see you walking through the halls of our brand new building next year. Thank you for being part of our program.